What's going on, guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, it's King Tuts Pro, of course, and I'll be showing you guys a Photoshop CS6 tutorial on how to create this avatar. Because on my previous video, I told you guys if I if you gave if you guys gave me 20, 20 or more likes, then I will show you how to create how, how I did my avatar, my YouTube avatar for this. Now I did kind of change it a little bit, um, so it won't be oh, it won't always be the same. So just keep that in mind. But if you do want to know how to do it, well, this is, well, I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. So, so if I can't talk today, I'm like, I don't know, I can't talk, I can't talk a lot today for some reason, just, you know. Anyway, so let me go ahead and close this. So first, we're going to create a new document. Uh, make sure that the width is 800 and the height is 800. I have no idea why the resolution is 299.999. Keep that at 72 for some reason. Pixels, okay. Um, all right, so make sure that the background background content is white. That's what I keep it on, and click OK. And this is how it's gonna look like. So first, you want to go ahead and import your background, or you can, or your image that you're gonna be using as your background. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go over to pictures, wallpapers, HD. Uh, so yeah, just search or select any background images that you're going to be using for this um so i don't know what i could do let's see um i'll go with this one right here skyline this is a new york city so if you guys want to have this wallpaper i'll post the link in the description because you a lot of you guys ask what stuff i use in this so i will be glad if you do uh, if you don't then just skip this part but i'll add it in the description so copy the background and paste it into into here and I'll press Command T to resize it, like so. You also want to make it a little bit big, bigger than than the actual thing here. So like this, okie dokie. So once you have done that, we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer. And on the new layer, we want to fill it with a white uh, background. So go over to Edit, Fill, Use. Make sure that's color and select white. Or if you have, want to do it quicker, you can go to background color, and your background color should be white. If not, then do that. I'm gonna go over to color, white, click OK, blend mode, normal, the opacity. I keep it at 30%. You could go higher if you want, but this is just up to you. And preserve transparencies off. You don't want that to be checked. So once you have done that, you want to click OK, and once you have to click OK, create a new layer on top of that. I'm gonna name this. Um, white background for the sake being and over here I'm gonna name it text just to be a little bit more organized so I'm gonna name it text and uh, once I have done that I want to go ahead and put in my text so grab the text tool I'm using Lavenderia I think that's how it's pronounced the font will be in the description for you to download it's not for free unfortunately I can't show you how to get it for free because I already have a copyright strike on my channel and I'm not risking another copyright strike so sorry but you can get it if you want there is ways around that but I'm not I'm not promoting you to do it but Lavendera is the font I'm using I'm using regular you could use sturdy but I'm just going with the regular font and you can go ahead and type whatever you want on this but this is more of a of a retro vintage type of look so as you can see, King Tut's Pro. Kind of looks girly, but we'll make it manly. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so we'll make this uh, in the middle like this, okay? Now, you can change the font color if you want, but a more classic, more classy and clean look would be a white font. You could choose a black font, but, I mean, it wouldn't... Um, you have to go around with your surroundings. So, in this case, since it's kind of like a white sky and a white background, I'm using a white font. Um... Just keep that in mind. You want to go with what you're going to be using. So, so like if you had a background that was green, you would want to have a darker green for your font. But that's if you want. Anyway, so once you have that, we want to go ahead and group our text. So the text that we have created right now and our background color, which is this right here. So we're going to be grouping these two. So on your Mac, uh, on your keyboard, hold down Command and click the background um, this right here or if you're on uh, Windows hold down control and then press command G to group them together or control G from Windows um, 
and I'm gonna name this so just double click on the group I'm gonna name it to King Tuts Pro for this and inside that folder um, you will see text and your your background of course go over to text and open up uh, the layer style window by double clicking on it and go over to um, where it says knockout and choose shallow decrease the opacity so it's gonna look like this you can't really see it so what I do is I add a stroke so go over to stroke change the color to white well I change it to white you can change it to any color if you're a girl you, I don't know maybe you choose pink or something but I'm gonna just go with white because it's more classy and clean and I keep it around let's see like 10 in between 10 and 15 uh, position should be outside you could do inside but that's gonna be pointless because it defeats the purpose because the font is already white so yeah um, and then what I do is I just click OK and um, so let me go ahead and change the size here a little bit just keep in mind that this is an avatar you want to make your or whatever you're doing here quite big because you want it when you're when your avatar is on YouTube it's gonna look something like this so it's kinda hard to read that's the the bad thing but hey at least you get to know how to do the, um, the background now I did blur the background on my previous avatar the one I have on my channel so what I do is I go over to the filter and I go over to blur and go to Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur however you want to pronounce it the radius uh, I keep it around um, I still want to be I still want the background to be visible so I keep it around 3 3.5 somewhere around there and I click OK so once I've done that I want to go ahead and add a stroke um, this is pretty much a border around our image so if you guys do want to see how um, how you create borders there is a lot of ways to do it I think there's three ways of doing it but this is one of the best ways to do it well in my opinion go over to the background and open up the layer style by double clicking on the layer go over to stroke and the position should be inside and increase the size a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep this to white. I'm going to click OK. But you can see that there's nothing happening. That's because we haven't cropped our image to 800 by 800 pixels. So to do that, make sure you have your background selected. Now, this is if your image is big. So if I were to zoom out, press Command T, you can see that it's not within our boundaries of our, um, of our dimensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the crop option right here that's your crop tool and I'm gonna click inside here without moving anything and I just click check now it's cropped to our dimensions so it's not outside so now I could do the same double click on our layer our background layer go over to stroke and go over to the color you can change it a little bit so let me show you first make sure this is inside because we want it to affect the inside if we chose if we choose outside um, it wouldn't affect anything because we want it to be inside the 800 by 800 uh, pixels. So I choose inside and I keep it around um, like 20, 25, 22, somewhere around there. You could make it a little bit bigger, but for the sake of this Zora, I'm going to just speed it up. Color, you could change it. Again, you could choose any color you want. I'm going to choose white, classy looking white. And you could choose to decrease or increase the opacity, but that wouldn't affect anything. Um, and then just click OK. And uh, I think that's pretty much it on my, that's how I create my avatar for, for my uh, YouTube channel. So if this helped you in any way, please, please leave a like in the description. Now, if you wanted to center, center this, just press Command R or Control R on a Windows computer. And this will bring up the rulers. Click and drag on the top right here and it will bring up a guide drag it to the middle of the document and it will just snap in place if it doesn't snap in place then you have to go to the view and snap uh, if not snap to guides make sure those two are, are checked then do the same on the left here and drag it to the middle it should snap in between somewhere here there we go and then you could center it like so so if this helps you in any way please leave a like in the ratings below Leave a comment if you need any help or if you have any questions regarding this video. And I did order a, what's it called, the Rode PSA-1 boom arm, which um, if I hit my mic or you can hear the, the, 
like me typing or doing something. It's because I have my game on my Blue Yeti all the way down, so you can't hear that. But I did order the boom arm so I could place it around anywhere. And I also um, ordered a shock mount. So, it, you know, it's it's a good thing. Um, if you want to upgrade your workstation to be a little bit more professional and if you want to have it more better. I don't know. It's kind of weird to explain. But, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Please uh, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.